welcome to another installment of Walkthroughs by Baha Kitty. Tonight we're going to be doing Parasite Eve. One of the Squaresoft classics, in my opinion. Before they turn to shit. Um, I'm going to try and make this a full walkthrough, but I'm probably going to have to either cut out or speed up a lot of parts because there's a lot of leveling in this game. If you want to, like, be able to clear the ending. Uh, I'll just let the cinema from the beginning play. You only get it on disc one. Because, I don't know, for some reason when you put in disc two, it doesn't actually load the cinematic. But, whatever. I guess it's just because the data isn't on the second disc. Remember that? Remember those days when you actually had to switch discs? Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Anyway, I definitely like the story for this game. It's definitely one of the games I'd play over and over again. Is that a fun story? Fun combat? I was kind of sad that the, uh, the new game they came out with, the third birthday, has, like, absolutely nothing to do with this. Like, at all. It's not even that great of a shooter. At least from what I've heard. I haven't actually played it yet, because I don't own a PSP. But, what I plan on doing is I plan on uh, flooring it through the game the first time. Because, when you beat this game, you can play it through again, and you get to keep your best weapon and armor. And the Chrysler building unlocks, which is just pretty much a slew of really tough enemies. So, I'm sure everybody wants to see that, right? And there you go. That's the opening cutscene. Alright, well, let's delve into this shit. For once, I can actually talk over the game because there's no voice acting. Not even in, like, these cutscenes. There's not really voices. It's just a lot of sound effects. But that's okay. So, game takes place in New York City. Twin Towers are still there. Game was made in 98, I think. This takes place on Christmas Eve of 1997. As you can tell by this ornament that shows up. start at Carnegie Hall. Alright, meet Aya. Aya Brea. Main character. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Name, Iabria, age 25, occupation, NYPD officer. You have the opportunity to change name. Looks like maximum is eight characters. For lull purposes, I could change the name, but for the time being, I'll just leave it as it is. 
I don't know, I just, you're right, I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get us the best seats for us tonight, so lighten up, we're gonna have a great time, you'll see. No, I won't. There's nothing to do outside, so you just go right on in. She runs slow as shit with the dress, by the way. You don't have to walk with him. You automatically open doors in this game. So there, you don't push a button or anything to open doors, so it can be kind of annoying in certain places when you're trying to get something and you are standing too close to a doorway. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Guard, grab her, and burn her at the stake. Father, if you are sentencing her to death, then I ask that you take my life along with hers. Oh, I had burn. This ain't Twilight. Yeah, I'm probably ruining the mood by reading the subtitles, but this is so boring. I mean, <laughs> you can't even skip this. This opera is, like, totally pointless. But it's okay. The story gets more interesting later. I'm probably gonna read all the subtitles, so if it bothers you, well, get the fuck out. I don't care. Another nice CG part here. It looks absolutely terrible on my TV, because PS2 wasn't really made for high-def TVs. But I don't know how well it will turn out on, like, the camera. Oh my god, I'm on fire! How everybody's spontaneously combusting. Oh my god! WTF. Jesus, I don't want to. Oh my god. Go get out of here now. Punt. <laughs> so your whiny ass boyfriend lives. Or whatever. You never see him again. Um, I'm gonna change the club. Save my bullets. Just because I can. You can pretty much kill everything in here with the club. Not that you have to save bullets, because you can pretty much go through the whole game using bullets. You get so many. It's a universal bullet. Freeze, NYPD. Oh, you're the only one who seems to be fine. What? Huh? You should be awakening soon. Well, what are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They are calling out. Alright, shitty boss fight. Hit X to attack. Club, you have to be close. You hit her. And, uh, you gain the ability for, uh, PE abilities. Or Parasite Eve abilities. You gain the ability to heal. 
What is this? What did you do to me? And then you just run around, she shoots a beam, you just keep running to avoid it, bitch smack her, and repeat. She only takes like three or four hits. She can't even hurt you when you're up close anyway. <laughs> I got lucky. I killed her. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, I. You should know me well. What? What? What is this? What was that? La 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 la. Cha 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 cha. Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Follow her backstage. Just make sure you're on the back side of the curtain. And you'll go backstage. It doesn't matter which side you exit. They both bring you here. the chest for a medicine one. If you really want to, you can throw shit back in the chest, but you don't have to. I know she's down there. And you'll hear the sirens, your backup arrives. Don't actually, you don't have to do this, but if you don't jump down, you can go outside and get some medical treatment and get some free bullets. So, why not? see flaming people all over the place. You can't interact with them. Wait, I'm a cop. I'm with the NYPD. Durr. Hold on, I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. Between the cleavage. Where all women keep their shit. So there you go. I wonder if it's a thing called spontaneous combustion. Who knows, huh? You think we'll be on TV? Hope this becomes a TV movie or something. Let me patch you up. I took no damage, but he'll patch you up anyway. You can talk to Tubbo over here. There you go. That's it. I think you can like infinitely get patched up, but not sure. It's not a big deal anyway. You don't take like severe damage in the first day unless you kind of, you know, ask for it. One second. 